K-Sketch is an informal animation sketching system for novice animators. Unlike conventional animation tools, K-Sketch has a simple interface that relies on users' intuitive sense of space and time, allowing them to create animations faster and with less learning time. Our field study showed that fast, rough animations can be a powerful communication tool. An engineer wanted to make this animation to show his colleagues how the path of a machine tread evolves over time, but he lacked the time and skill to create it. K-Sketch makes animation more accessible to such people. At a first glance, K-Sketch looks like little more than a drawing application. The interface has three regions, a toolbar at the top, a canvas where animations are created and viewed, and a set of time controls at the bottom. K-Sketch assumes the presence of a physical alternate button that users operate with their non-dominant hand to access alternate modes. This can be a tablet PC bezel button, or a handheld remote control button, or a keyboard key. When users hold an alternate button, they can select objects by drawing a loop around them. Selected strokes are rendered in outline and overlaid with a manipulator that allows them to be moved, rotated, scaled, or oriented to a path depending on where the user grabs it. A context menu can be accessed through a button just below the manipulator. This contains functions for moving or rotating the manipulator relative to the selected object. K-Sketch models animation as a sequence of editing steps over time. By default, an edit happens instantaneously at the time indicated by the time slider bar. This makes it easy to switch to different views of an object. To animate edit operations, users perform them while time is running. Holding an alternate button before dragging the manipulator causes time to run as long as the user's pen touches the screen, allowing edit operations to be recorded in real time. A motion path appears for every animated edit operation to help users coordinate motions. Notice the edit history feedback that appears above the timeline as the user works. To aid navigation, a tick mark is added to the edit history whenever the user begins or ends an edit. The time slider control snaps to these events, and tapping on either side of the slider moves to the next one. The tick marks can also be moved to change when events occur. When an object is selected, the events related to that object are highlighted. Now we show how to use these features to create a particle collision animation from our field studies. The user begins by drawing and selecting a particle on the left, and then prepares to animate the particle by pressing an alternate button. The manipulator turns red when the pen hovers over it to indicate that any edit operation will be animated. The user can then deselect the particle and rewind the animation to the beginning to add the second particle. After drawing and selecting this particle, the user drags it, using the motion path to help time the collision with the first particle by hand. The user can then erase both particles and replace them with an explosion. Finally, the user rewinds and plays the animation. K-Sketch also has powerful features for editing motions and adding layers of motion. If the user is not satisfied with a motion, she can simply record the motion again to replace it. If the user wishes to add a motion on top of an existing motion, K-Sketch will first assume that she wants to replace the previous motion. In this case, the user can select Fix Last Motion in the context menu to bring up a list of alternate interpretations for this motion the user selects an interpretation that makes the wheel spin as it is moving. Subsequent spin motions will overwrite the spin instead of the translation. The user can also add motions by copying existing ones. The user first selects the motions of an object by clicking Select Motions in the context menu. When motions are selected, they can be copied using the toolbar When a new object is selected, a paste operation will apply these motions to that object. We compared K-Sketch to Microsoft PowerPoint in a laboratory experiment with novice animators and found that K-Sketch was about three times faster and required half the learning time. This user found PowerPoint's interface confusing and needed 24 minutes to create this animation with it. The same user created this version in five minutes with K-Sketch. He was as comfortable showing the animation to others, and much more comfortable creating it in front of others. Another user needed 15 and a half minutes to create this animation with PowerPoint. He spent lots of time tweaking the motion paths of the dancers, but gave up under time pressure. The same user created this animation in four and a half minutes with K-Sketch, and was more satisfied with the results. These are a few examples of how K-Sketch's simple, intuitive interface can help make animation more accessible to novices.